All right. We are all set up today. Eli is going to be joining me. Um, please excuse his coughs. It's just a cough. Just a cough. What a week to get sick. But we're at home, so that's okay. Today, we are going to paint Spongebob as requested on Facebook. So thank you very much for that request. Um, I had this canvas kind of laying around already, but I thought it would be perfect for Spongebob. So it's actually extra thick compared to my normal ones. And it'll come in handy when we decide to paint and wrap around. It'll turn out really awesome. Your paint colors for today are yellow, of course, for SpongeBob. Blue, because he has blue eyes. We have white, black, brown for his pants, and red for his tie. We're gonna use red for his little mouth and tongue as well. Okay, I have a napkin. Oh, Eli, can you actually grab the water over there, please? Yep. We have rinse water, uh, a plate for my palette, and a napkin to wipe off the excess water when we rinse. Thank you, bud. Yeah. Right over here, right in between us. And we are actually going to use three size brushes today, just because we can fill in all the background and our edges. So a papa size brush is my large brush, a mama size brush, and a baby size brush. Baby is great for detail and doing those fine little adjustments, okay? So first things first, yellow. We're gonna take a lot of yellow. There's a goop in mine. There we go. It happens with acrylic sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I'm moving it over. Okay, Eli, grab your... Papa. Papa. Okay. Okay, and Papa, just plain yellow, is going to come down. So from the top, you go edge to edge. Okay. Really rubber. It's kind of rubbery. Okay. And as you're painting, don't go past. We're gonna have a nice line here. Okay, so just, here's about the halfway mark. So we're gonna go to about the three quarter down, roughly. You don't need to get a ruler out for this, that's okay. So fill all that in, yellow. Nice, bright, sunshiny yellow. I would love to get more suggestions and requests on how to's. Maybe favorite animal or something in your favorite color. This sure helps pass the time. I know it gives us something to look forward to. Okay, I'm going to paint my edges. So following that line that I created, Wrapping it around, bringing it oh my God. all the way up. Now if you don't have canvas, paper works. You just need to be aware of how much water and paint you're using. And paper will rip if it's too much water. Okay, so we're moving to the other side. 
Eli is using canvas board today, which is not the same width as this canvas. Like I said earlier, this is like double the size of my regular and usual ones. But I'm using what I have on hand. Okay, and don't forget that top edge as well. If you are using canvas or canvas board, you want to make sure that you are giving a nice coat. Good coverage. You don't want any of that white to be shining through. There we go. Okay, so I have all those sides done. Just softening up those edges. If you see paint sitting or gooping on the edge, just fix those lines up. How's yours, Eli? Good. Okay, so here, let me grab yours for a second. So Eli, like I said, is a canvas board. So his is that thin, very thin in comparison to mine. But again, it's, we're using what we have on hand and it's a little bit smaller than mine, but just barely, but it is doing the trick, isn't it? Okay. So finished with my popper brush, I'm gonna rinse it nice and gentle, sweeping my brush bristles at the bottom of my brush. You don't want to bang it too hard because it's gonna wreck those bristles and we want them to last as long as possible. There we go. Dabbing off the excess water on my napkin. Okay, and we're gonna jump to Mama Brush. Still using yellow, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna give some edging down here for SpongeBob's sponge. Because it's not just a straight line. He has these little waves. So just coming down slightly over that line that we made. Nice wave. And then you can soften up some of that paint if it's gooping there. And then doing it around the edge too. See that? side as well. There we go. Mm -hmm. Softening it up some of those goops. There we go. So it has a nice little wave to it. Just fix up my camera here. Looks good. Okay, so you can rinse that part out of your brush. Um, next part. So SpongeBob has a little bit of brown for his pants. If you don't have brown, you can mix your own brown. So that is by using opposite colors on the color wheel, if you don't know your color wheel. So that would be mixing red and blue to get purple. You can add a little bit of black, that'll help darken it up. Um, you can use green, and red those are opposite colors on the color wheel so those will make and then even adding a little bit more black it will make it darker luckily i have a brown just brown okay so in this part i'm going to actually take a little bit of brown taking it to my yellow with my mama brush and I'm just going to mix up more of a darker 
color. And as Eli and I are sharing the same plate, I'm just gonna mix enough for the two of us. So it's an off yellow. Rolling that out just to get that nice consistent color, not so streaky. Squish it out. There, that's a good color. So it's slightly darker than the yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna take my baby brush and we're gonna do little sponge pockets, I guess, holes. You ready? Go into his brain. Mm, not his brain. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice round, doesn't need to be a perfect circle, but we're gonna do one down here. Filling that circle in. I'm gonna do a small one over here. Another one over here. Small little circles, ovals. And carry one up here. I'm gonna do one on the corner, wrapping it around my edge. do a couple around the sides just like so maybe a couple on this edge here too You can decide kind of where you would like to add some of these. I'm just avoiding putting them directly in the center because that's where his face is going to sit. I'm going to put some on the top. It's kind of looking like Swiss cheese at the moment. Mm -hmm. around the edge. We're gonna give these guys a little bit of a outline here too afterwards. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry for a bit. Rinse that out. getting some white ready we are going to I gotta rinse out my mommy brush here mama so we're gonna do his pants and his shirt well his shirt's white okay so his shirt I'm using mommy brush clean mama and just the white canvas is gonna get about this line here. Careful, if your yellow is still wet, be careful not to touch it or just pause the video and come back to that step afterwards when it's dry. We wanna try and keep this white as clean as we can. I see some of my white is, or my yellow is wet. There. 
we're going to come down a fair amount. So splitting this section though in, in two. So depending on your canvas or paper size, you're going to need, well, mine's about an inch and an inch of each section here, each color. Can straight my line out afterwards too. There's a yellow spot. I knew it was wet. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to do the same thing around my edge. That way. Same thing around this edge. Doing my best to line that line up. There's a little fuzzy in there. Okay. <laughs> you do it and I want to do it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so there's our white for his shirt. So your yellow should be dry. Is it dry anywhere? Yeah, your yellow is dry. Maybe not the dark yellow spots, but if this spot here is dry, we're going to start working on his eyes. His eyes might need a second coat of the white, which is fine. We'll give it some time to dry while we work on the, the other pieces and parts of SpongeBob. First things first, grab your baby brush And white. We're gonna do two nice big round circles in the middle. So I'm gonna start with his right eye because I'm right-handed and it's just kind of easier for me to focus my planning here. Nice big round circles. More paint. You can fill all that space in there. So white is one of those weaker colors. I've mentioned it in some of my other videos where the under colors will likely shine through. So yeah, maybe a second coat will do. We can wait and see. I am putting on a rather good coating here of this white. There we go. One eye. We did good. Okay, and then the next eye, we're gonna try and put it as close as we can without it touching. And then plan for it to be about the same height. So nice and round. His eyes don't quite touch. They're very close together. <clears throat> Feeling all that 
that space in. I'll share Eli's work afterwards here too. We've been using the hashtag canart work gallery to show off our work on Instagram, Facebook, there we go. You can find me on Facebook and give me suggestions or comment on my videos. Let me know. Nice and slow, nice and slow. There's two eyes. They don't need to be exact. Okay. There we go. There's his eyes. We will jump back and do the blues in his eyes afterwards. Oh, I had a big goop there, so just flattening that out a bit. Okay, Spongebob also has two teeth, two chiclet square rectangular teeth. They look like chiclets. Okay, so let's just jump in here. We need to leave space for his nose. Come down here, so just a little bit. We're going to do a square. They're going to be floating for a bit, but we're just giving our, our white a chance here. So we don't have to cover up on top of a darker color. And a tooth right next to it. You can try and make these the same size. There's a bit of a gap in between. And I'm going to rinse that white out right now. Nice and gentle to the brush. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna jump to red. Still gonna use baby brush for this. We don't need too much, just, I put about a little loony or a dollar, quarter size. If you're American, I guess you don't have coins like we do in Canada. Okay. We are going to, make sure your white's dry. Dry. Okay, we're going to give him a tie. So the tie is going to sit in between here. It's gonna follow the curve. Oops. Need a little bit more paint on there. So it's gonna have this little shape. You Follow the curve, bring a U down like this. Then from that bottom of the U, it's gonna be narrow and then flare out from there. So nice and round, coming out, rounded edges. rounded edges like that nice curve to them and then you can go ahead and fill that tie in I'm also gonna finish this tie by wrapping around the bottom edge Bring it to a point. Okay, 
That way it'll be complete. I'm just gonna put that back on my tablecloth. Okay. Now while that dries, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my mama brush to help mix. Making sure all the water is off of there. I'm going to take fuzzy on my plate here too. So I'm gonna take some of that red, putting it over to the side, so scoop just a little bit. And I'm gonna take some of our brown, just scoop it over to our red. It's gonna give us a nice darker red. Okay. That one. Rinse that out. I'm dabbing off the extra. And I'm also going to mix, oh, I need a little bit more white. Some white, tiny little bit of red. Slowly add more. So this is gonna be for SpongeBob's tongue. That's a nice soft pink color. Okay. Mama brush goes back in the water. Okay, so for this part, what we're gonna do is the tongue first. You got your baby brush, Eli? Mm -hmm. It's on the napkin. Oh. Okay, so from here, under his teeth, we're just going to do a nice bump, bump. It's going to be thin like this. And fill it in. Kind of looks like lips right now. Does look like lips. Okay. Just quickly rinsing out that brush. And then we made that dark red with that brown mix. So that is going to be the rest of his mouth, which starts above. Oh, I have a drip of water. Just was wiping off my brush. Okay. This is going to be black, this line here, but I'm going to put in between his teeth. Around his teeth. This big smile is going to come up. From his tongue. To make a smile pointed in the corner. Like that. Same thing on this side. So his smile pointed in the corner, coming down. And it's going to meet up with that tongue edge right there okay. 
that dark red is going to follow that line, that bump, boop, like this. And you can go ahead and fill all that in. You can use normal brush, Eli. Okay. If you want. No. Papa's way too big. I need to mix a little bit more. Didn't mix enough for the two of us. Just giving her a quickly as I can to mix some more. There we go. So there we go, filling in all that space. If your teeth look a little wiggly, you can go slow with that baby brush to try and straighten out the look of them. There we go. Uh -huh. Here's his mouth. Rinsing out that baby brush. We will be jumping back to that one in a little bit. But get your sleeve and your yellow. <laughs> jumping back to that mama brush. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to grab just brown and this is going to follow along that tie and very carefully go across here for his pants. If you're finding a bit of a tight spot here with your tie, grab your baby brush and do that outline if you prefer. Just a little bit more steady with the baby brush. Same thing for this side of the tie. I've done that. I'm going to do my edges. You don't want to forget those. <clears throat> you like to get the little folded crease there too on the canvas. There. And get the bottom edge. And 
filling in as much of that white as we can. Painted my arm. I'm doing my best to line up that line. for a little bit better into focus here. There we go. Just touch up some of those streaky lines that kind of appear when it dries. There we go. Okay, so there is SpongeBob's pants. My white is dry. Great. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next step, I'm taking blue. Clean baby brush. Making sure I get all that water off. Oops. And rolling, roll your bristles to a nice point using your fingers, your fingertips to just gather all those fine bristles to gather at the point. We are gonna do his eyes. So the iris is in his eyes. Just the Tip of my brush is going to have a little bit of blue. I'm going to do this eye first to give me a little bit more balance. So we're going to do a nice round circle. Nice and slow. Okay. Then I'm going to plan where I'm going to put this eye. So I don't want it to be up here or over here. I suppose you could, if you really, really want to, make him have a silly face. But I'm going to plan for this one to be about the same distance from the inside there of the circle, the white circle. Going slow. Ah. So this one messed up a bit. Which I'm going to just have to adjust the other one to size. That one's a bit bigger than this one now. So I'm going to try and make that adjustment over on this end. That stuff happens all the time. That's okay. Don't need to worry or get upset. Just go slow, fix it. Ah, much better. I like that. Looks good, bud. 
All right. Now, while those eyes dry, we're going to rinse out that baby brush from the blue, wiping off that extra water on your napkin, and we're going to grab black. Nice and gentle with the brushes. So now that we have black, this is really going to give that detail because SpongeBob has eyelashes and his nose is missing, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. And his cheeks. So the first thing we're going to do is, well, we're going to leave the eyes for now because they're still wet. That was the last thing we did. But we can give him a little bit of a nose. And his nose comes up in between his eyes. Goes fairly round. That's more like a, mm, not quite a fish hook. A horseshoe? Mm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do his cheeks. So this is gonna be actually wraps around from his eye. There's my puppy. She says hello. And the corner of the smile is going to have this little line here, too. We're going to do three dots. One. Two. Three. And his cheeks like that. We're going to follow his mouth because his mouth is dry. I'm pressing very lightly with my brush. Move some of this stuff out of the way so I can have a little bit more control with my hand. Underneath the tongue. So all the way around the mouth is what you want to do. There's a lot more control when I hold it. When you get to this corner, it's going to have that same smile line. And then I'm gonna do the top edge around that. Oh, I slipped right there. I'll fix it. Well. Oh, buddy's nerfy. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is gonna give our teeth a bit of a 
of lanterns. And I'm gonna also follow the line for his tongue. Hmm, I can see him. He's there. So this cheek is gonna be nice and round. It's gonna sit overlapping that uh, eyeball a little bit. I'm going to do one, two, three dots inside. He also has a little bit of a, a wave under his tongue. Which is writing down, up, down. Do the outline of his tie. along his shirt line. And make sure I wrap around my edge. And while I'm doing this side too, I'm going to, oops, knock my easel over apparently. Okay, I'm gonna do, make a black line to separate his shirt from his pants. Also wrapping that around the edge. Same thing over here. This waved line. Straight line. Whoops. Oof. Apparently I'm clumsy today. Try and adjust that again. There we go. We're gonna give his shirt some colors which are going to start around his tie, come down to a point and up, one on each side. Fancy guy. Gonna do quick little outlines on those darker circles that we did. Try not to press too hard with your brush. The harder you press, the thicker your lines are gonna be. Yeah. 
of my edges, my circles there. Don't forget each side. almost hear him now. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. So my blue is nice and dry. I'm going to put a smaller black circle inside. That blue Thing on this one. My brush is filling up. There we go. I'm going to do a very lightly line around the outside of the blue carefully you can always go back and do more blue on top if you make a mistake or white in the white parts of the eyes like that mistake I made earlier I'm gonna do that one there I have to wait for it to dry before I can do yellow on it. I think I'll add some more blue to that too. There. So while that dries, I'm going to be careful not to touch it. I'm going to do the circles that fall around the whites of the eyes. It's almost done. A couple steps left. Should have done this eye first. My hand's wobbly at this distance. I usually like to paint on the floor, not with a camera in between me and the canvas. Okay, and then he's gonna have some eyelashes. So one. Gonna come from here. One, 
one goes straight up two and one pointing off this way here three three for each eye so start straight up two three there's spongebob just like that touch up that spot there so besides that maybe I'll do that while I got you here with me I'm just gonna rinse my baby brush out so if you find that you've made a slip up you may not be able to quite tell on the camera that it's there I can tell so there was a, a bit of a bubble in the paint. So I'm just gonna, I wiped it off. I'm grabbing just yellow. Black is a tough color to cover up. And then it's gonna spread a bit. So I'll come back. It takes a couple coats. That has to dry. Couple coats. But that's what you have to do. Revisit it. And try not to drag it across because it'll just smear that, that black underneath. It's like putting a layering band-aids on. One coat, the next coat, the next coat. Okay. One last thing. Clean baby brush, bring it to the point, nice point, grabbing a little bit of white for his eyes. We're going to do a dot in the blue, find the same spot in the other eye. And then one next to it. Just a little bit smaller on that one. Bigger dot, smaller dot, bigger dot, smaller dot. There you go. SpongeBob. I missed it. Okay, so here I will reveal Eli's. Clara did a drum roll for her Bruni. All right, Eli, want to do a drum roll? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, there's Eli's. Good job, buddy. Thank you. I'm going to post this video. It'll be uploaded when it's uploaded. We have slow internet here, so I'll, I'll do my, my best. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'd love to see what your kids or you and your loved ones are doing with these paintings. We've started putting ours in the windows for anybody that walks by our house. Um, just a social distancing art gallery, if you will. And we have our virtual online again, that hashtag is canartworkgallery. So canart is our last name, C-A-N-A-R-T, work, W-O-R-K, gallery. Okay, I would love to see everything you've done. Okay, till next time. Bye.